Hey man, what it is? This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. There go the cash app. I appreciate everybody who be rocking with me, who support me. I don't care if you send a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. It's just I appreciate the support and people, you know, willing to give me their hard or earn money that they work for every day. Um, I wanted to talk about something that um caught my eye. Y'all know me being me. Man, these dudes make every excuse not to date black. Did y'all see Dr. Umar on the Joe Button podcast, y'all? It was a great show. If you have not checked it out, go check out um, Dr. Umar on the Joe Button podcast. But it was one to remember. It was one that's going to be um, go down in the record books because Dr. Umar is completely right. And I got my gripes with Dr. Umar on some things, but when it comes to this, I actually completely agree with Dr. Umar. These dudes, especially black men and black women, we make every excuse not to date black. We make every excuse not to date our own. As if it's something wrong with us. Dudes be out here talking about they want something exotic. Ain't nothing more exotic than a black woman. What are you talking about? We don't black women are the only women on this earth that come in all different shades of colors. What gets more exotic than that? Black women are probably the only women on this earth you literally will find on every part of this continent. I mean, on every part of this globe, on each continent. What are you talking about? Nothing is more exotic than a black woman. You mean the creator of life? You mean that woman? They make every excuse to not date black. This is how I know a lot of dudes probably haven't been with that many women. Because if you have, then you would never make that excuse because then you will understand that all of these women are, are do women things. If you think that you are going to date a white woman, an Asian woman, Latino woman, name her, and everything is just going to be peaches and cream and roses, no. You, if you really have a problem with something, then you have a problem with modern modern women. I don't, I don't, I don't have too many gripes with your argument as far as that like women want to be very masculine they don't want to be feminine they don't want to be submissive to the man and all this that and the third because they get money they ceos they they top dogs at their job they get in the bag they head to household i get you my brother i understand that point but that's for all races though it's, it's not just black women are still at the bottom of that it's more asian and white women doing doing those things and then you'll throw black women there maybe latino women after that so it's plenty so you can't use that as an excuse them being professionals and and, and caring about their degrees and all this type stuff because i mean indian women um and that's another thing anybody who is my skin pigmentation you are not something else so y'all need to stop that just because you come from Puerto Rico, just because you come from the Caribbean, just because you come from Asia, just because you come from Mexico. If you are my complexion or darker, let me tell you something. Most of your DNA is black. I don't care what you say. I guarantee you, if you take a DNA test, at least the dark, if you're my complexion or darker, I guarantee that at least 30 to 40 percent of your um, makeup is African guarantee i guarantee it and you know what's even funnier that'll be the hardest part to take out of your dna you know why because it probably was the original it probably was the original dna that just started getting mixed with everything else along the way but it was the probably the first dna that um made you whatever family tree you come from it probably was the root you know we got a family tree i guarantee that black dna was the roots of that family tree i promise it i would be willing to put anything on that we make every excuse to down our black women to down our black men and go be with other people but i have dated other people from other races myself and this is how i know other women do the same things you think they're not going to catch an attitude you think that you could be broke and she going to stick around you think that she won't do stuff behind your back? I don't understand what you think that you're going to get, but I'm just trying to tell you, whatever you, you're running from, from black women, you can easily find in other women. I am telling you this, sir, for sure. Are you crazy? I'm from Philly and Chester. You could go date a Puerto Rican girl. She, they basically black. They act just like black women. She's going to, she'll do the same things that a black woman going to do. 
anybody from New York, Jersey, Philly, Delaware, Ohio, Maryland, I tell you I am not lying. It ain't that much of a difference between a Puerto Rican woman, especially on the East Coast, and a black woman. And I won't, I won't even really give you too much slack about dating a Puerto Rican woman because I understand that it's especially them. Dominicans, a little bit too, but Dominicans be on, they darker than the Puerto Ricans and be more standoffish, you know, explain that. But we'll, we, you know, with the, the Haiti and Dominican Republic, you, I understand why that is. It's not right at all that they, a lot of them act that way, but I understand why that is. Because right when they cross that border, you got people in Haiti that's as chocolate as chocolate can get, you know, basically the whole country. So I get that part of it. But, um, yeah, if you think you're going to date another woman from another race and they're not going to catch attitudes and do all the things they just going to do it. They might do it. They might do it a little quieter. Um, they might be a little more sarcastic. But you see, Jonathan Majors, you push any of them to the limit, you'll be running down the street. That is just that's just not the harsh reality. You push any of them to the limit, they'll be chasing you down the street. So I don't want to hear I, I don't want to hear that black women got attitudes. Black women too masculine. Black women this, black women that, black men this, black men that. If you go date white dudes, let me tell y'all something, women. White dudes do the same things we do. Y'all just don't talk to them neither. Yeah, they know how to be nice around you. Actually, white dudes are even better at what we try to do. Black guys, we're just not that good at faking certain things. White dudes have this thing mastered. Shout out to them. White guy will go to his office and act one way, or go around his homies and act a complete different way, or go around his family and act a complete different way, and tell everybody at each different stage when he why he does what he does. And it's perfectly accepted in their culture to be a chameleon. You better go to work and act differently. When you're around, you see how white boys act with each other. They 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 throw stuff on each other while they sleep. They jump off mountains and and they do all types of weird stuff with each other. But that's how they have fun amongst the boys. But then after they finish doing that, they'll take a girl to their to they family house. Hey, my dad, he's a lawyer. You know what I mean? Um, he don't like certain stuff. You know, he's very, and give you the whole rundown before you go in the family house. You know he don't act like this, but he's going to make do. So white boys have mastered that. Black men, we, we're trying to learn that, but we kind of still are the same people everywhere we go. Now, you got a lot of black men who do know how to do this that can turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. And I don't knock that neither. You know what I mean? But um, and there's nothing wrong with it. But for for black women to even think you're going to mess with an Asian man, first of all, most Asian and I hate to say this, but it's the truth. And we're going to keep it real tonight. dog. Like, I got to keep it real. Most Asian families won't accept you if you bring a black person home. That's first of all. So, like, especially the, the the girl, the girl bringing home a black man, that hell, man, listen here, man. Listen here, man. That's not going to be too widely accepted. Yeah, maybe a few will accept it. Yeah, a few, that's in everything in life. But the majority, they're not accepting that, dog. And nobody knocks them for that. But pe black people, we want to get, we want to get guilted in to not wanting to be with us. When we are the minorities in America, where we should be wanting to be with us, we are the we are we aren't treated like everybody else. Why would you? How could anybody else relate to you? They're never going to be you. It is a known fact that black people are treated differently in America. Like it is widely accepted across America. So why would you even want to be with somebody who doesn't even? That's why I said earlier about the Puerto Rican girls because. Me speaking, I don't know what it's like in the middle of the country. I don't know what it's like too much down south or in the West Coast. In the West Coast, I know the Latinos and the Black are really segregated. But where I'm from, the Puerto Rican girls and the, and the Dominican, not the Dominican girls so much, but them too, because you might not know the difference depending on what, what's going on. But um, at least they see what we're going through. At least they get it. They going through the same exact thing. Not same exact thing, but close enough. I'll say, 
You dig what I'm saying? And it don't go for everybody because all Puerto Ricans ain't the same. You got a lot of Puerto Ricans who mingle with black people. And then you got a lot of Puerto, you got a sector of Puerto Ricans who don't have nothing to do with us. We can't understand nothing they saying or none of that. Like, so it's, it, it's a fine balance and you'll under, you'll know what I'm talking about when you run into them. It's, a, it's much different between, a, um, um, who I'll say it's, it's much difference between somebody like a Felix Trinidad and a Cardi B. They both Puerto Rican, but the way they, the sectors they going to be in, the things that they are going to do are going to be completely different. So th that's just the thing I need y'all to understand. But why would you want to be with somebody who can never understand what it's like to be you? Like they're walking around knowing that you don't get treated the same way as them. How can y'all truly, truly relate? They couldn't even try. They whole life, they don't even know nobody in a family who was treated like anybody in your family. The experiences are just completely different. And we talking about from a human standpoint, not just I grew up here, you grew up here, I'm white, you black, I'm one white, you Asian. Not just from that, just from the fact that black people aren't even treated the way anybody, you can name any other race, any other heritage, and they are treated better than black people. So nobody knows what it's like quite to be like us. So why wouldn't you go to your people first is the part that I don't understand. And love, miss me with the you love who you love. No, you love who you seek out. It's girls that I chose to talk to and there's girls that I didn't choose to talk to. How would I know I loved her if I never went and tried to holler at her? Or if she never said nothing to me. So miss me with this, it's love who loves stuff. I don't want to hear all that. I'm going to just be completely honest with you. Because you got guys who, you got people when, first of all, love ain't love when you say that you got a preference. How can love be love when you seek out a certain type of person because that is your preference? Then that means that you don't even give everybody else that is not your preference a chance to love you. To know if they would really be your true love. So you do pick and choose. So miss me with the, you just love who you love BS. That is BS. Ain't nothing wrong with other races. Everybody deserves human respect, decency. Everybody deserves a chance to speak. Everybody deserves with a just certain human dignity, period. No matter what race, creed, color, heritage, religion, whatever. People deserve that, res that respect. And what I mean by that, when you somebody speak to you, you should speak back to them. It don't matter what um, color they are or what race or religion they are. When somebody give everybody a personal space, don't be just walking up and being all personable with everybody you know. Don't be cutting everybody off when they in the conversation, no matter what race, creed, religion or whatever it is. Just certain things like that. Say, excuse me, when open the door for people. I don't care if she's an old white lady or an old black lady or an old Chinese lady or an old Latino lady. If you see her about to walk into the store, at least you can do is open the door for her. That's the least you could do. Be polite to everybody. Everybody deserves your politeness. Everybody deserves your respect until they cross that line. So it's really, if you are walking around treating people with that dignity, with that decency, it's no reason you shouldn't have to feel bad for loving a chocolate, beautiful, caramel, um, honey butter biscuit, um, salted caramel, mocha, <laughs> cappuccino. You shouldn't feel bad about, you know, thick, you know, beautiful, full hair, um, full lips. You shouldn't feel bad about wanting to be with that. Ain't nobody going to make me feel bad that I love being with black women. I am sorry. I don't care what you say. Nobody's going to make me feel bad that I like black women and that I want to be with a black woman. I don't care what you say. Am I, I, I? That's just me. J. Cole got a song called Love Yours. I'm just saying, y'all, love yours. Y'all know what this is, man. This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is by any means. Hit that cash app. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Means a lot. Get at me, man, uh, and leave a comment and tell me what y'all think. I holler.